meaning of your name uh is yes, there my name okay. another name of lord shiva sir <clears throat> and tell me five famous personalities having the same name two specific uh, ways of looking at things mm -hmm. that if we look at uh, the things in terms of uh, professionalism sir mm -hmm. as a role model mm -hmm. but when we look in to prospect of our indian culture and morality things then in that sense sir mm -hmm. so both has inspired people from their heart uh, from their work and have I may what is the way. Okay. <clears throat> One second. Your network is coming. <clears throat> Why do you think the... Uh, no, sir. I haven't... Uh... Sir, I haven't commented on her personal values that she doesn't have moral value. Sir, in in terms of what work she does, mm -hmm. that is considered as immoral in term in terms of our Indian culture. Okay. So in that sense, I'm saying that uh, her uh, she professionally her professionalism is something that has a bit of issues. Sir. Okay. Now tell me the historical background of your city. In the year eighteen thirties or forties, I'm not sure about the years, but his his name is taken from this person only. Mm -hmm. And some important role, some important uh, 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 events has happened in the Indian independence movement, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the visit of Mahatma Gandhi when he was going to Champaran. He is also, mm -hmm. and the uh, other was the if uh, other incident was this the uh, hanging of Khudiram Bose, sir. Uh, these two are the major events that happened during the Indian independence movement. Sir, so, uh, regarding sir, you are talking about the Khudiram Bose incident. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, the the person or the entire event is related to the freedom struggle, sir. Mm. Uh, there was a, a judge in the Kolkata High Court, mm. and he was very famous for giving strict punishment to the Indian mm. freedom fighters. Name. Mm. Uh, I think I'm not sure about sir his name, but his name was Lord Curzon or sorry sir I couldn't recall the exact name. King's Court. Sir, I think it was King's Court, uh, rather King's Court. He was King's Court. Indian freedom fighters, because of his uh, behavior of giving strict punishment to the freedom fighters, so he was transferred. Mm. And uh, in order to in order to uh, in order to punish this judge, sir, two of the youth, uh, Khudiram Bose and uh, and the one 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 more person was it? Yes, Prafulla yes, Chakki. Yes, Prafulla Chakki. These two young persons. were selected and they were given the target to finish the judges in muzaffarpur sir so here they try to study the schedule and work routines of this judge okay. and accordingly they planned sir, the bomb blast okay. but when sir, now <clears throat> compare your state with kerala in terms of literacy sex ratio employment and agricultural development Okay, sir. Uh, sir. Regarding the first point, that is literacy ratio, sir. The Kerala has a, a very high literacy ratio, whereas Bihar has very low literacy ratio, sir. Uh, it uh, I'm not sure about the numbers, so I won't make a guess, sir. But the uh, they lie on very uh, opposite sides of the table, sir. One is at the top, while other is at the very lower portion. Sir. Okay, okay, fine. Sir, regarding regarding employment, sir. in bihar sir since most of the workforce are uneducated mm -hmm. and unskilled so either they go they go outside the state for as a migrant labor mm -hmm. or they are involved in agricultural activities mm -hmm. uh, while sir in case of kerala the people is highly educated 
mm-hmm. and they are uh, they are more into uh, uh, the jobs and they often uh, prefer to go outside india and into the gulf country mm-hmm. uh, fishing is also a prominent uh, occupation in kerala as well sir mm-hmm. and uh, regarding sir uh, ag- agriculture sir uh, bihar is a fertile plain and as a the ganga passes through this region so agricultural activities is the primary activity for the people of bihar while sir that is not the case with kerala sir they are more more into jobs and different sectors and agriculture is their secondary activity okay recently amit sir given a statement that policing should police should away from politics matlab ki unhone hindi mein kaha tha ki police ko राजनीति से एक हाथ दूर रहकर काम करना चाहिए तो आप इस स्टेटमेंट से कितना एग्री करते हैं और इस स्टेटमेंट को देने के बाद क्या पुलिसिंग सिस्टम में कुछ सुधार की जरूरत समझ में आती है यस सर सर आई थिंक आई अग्री विद दिस स्टेटमेंट दैट पुलिस शुड वर्क इंडिपेंडेंटली एंड हैव अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पॉलिटिक्स सर सर आई थिंक द रीजन बिहाइंड इज दैट सर इट्स अ job that needs to be dealt with people and mm. police have a long term role to play in the society mm. uh, politicians do come and go after a five year tenures mm. they have their own interests mm. so police uh, should be working as per the constitution of the country mm. and they should keep themselves away from the uh, politics politics mm. and sir regarding the uh, improvement that is required sir i think sir there is need for a reform in in sense that they should be given a freedom and freedom to work in the legal uh, legal framework itself sir there should be no pressurizing on police and there should be no interference in their work with respect to the politicians that they do and sir i think uh, uh, giving them uh, making them uh, more accountable to what they are doing can also help sir okay <clears throat> now define the job role and what kinds of duties and what is the exact designation of nsa okay sir mm-hmm. uh sir, nsa stand for national security advisor mm-hmm. our current nsa is mr azib dubal sir uh sir this job is specifically related to the security of our nation and he reports directly to the pmo mm-hmm. and sir uh, he he coordinates between the three different departments uh, mm-hmm. different forces that is air force army and the navy mm-hmm. and he suggests the prime minister steps that need to be taken to enhance the security of the nation he even also suggests the P- prime, prime minister on internal security issues as well and what is the rank of and i say uh sir it is a it is a con- it, earlier sir it works and it, it used to come under pmo but now it is given a, a ministerial position sir equivalent to cabinet uh, cabinet secretary cabin cabinet secretary sir cabinet rank cabinet yes, rank, cabinet rank. Hmm. Uh, tell me some names of foreign intelligence agencies with its countries okay sir uh, the most famous one is the israeli uh, foreign agency mm-hmm. that is mossad uh, other is a russian foreign agency that used to be earlier that is known as kgb mm-hmm. and the one is in the us sir uh, uh, us uh, Sorry, I'm missing. I'm missing the name of the U.S. agency. CIA. FBI or CIA? CIA, sorry. CIA. FBI is internal agency like policing, like yes, police. Sir. And what about Chinese intelligence agencies? Sir, sir, I have read about it, but I couldn't remember its name, sir. And what about uh, Britain? uh britain sir i cannot remember sir one is sir pakistan that i can recall is the isi sir inter service okay. intelligence okay now come to the another issue that is the myanmar issue 
Right. Everyone knows that the military coup is there, and the military is governing there. So, tell me the what will be the impact on our India's internal security, and how will China be benefited by this military coup, and how we can control insurgency issues after this coup? Okay, sir. Hmm. Uh, Sir, regarding the first question, sir, uh, the the insurgency, sorry, the uh, military coup in uh, Myanmar, sir. Mm. Earlier, is it used to be a, a a democratic government, but now there has been a coup, mm. and sir, China is taking full advantage of this, sir, and it is trying to uh, trying to manage the things inside China mm. by giving them different types of support, sir. Mm. Uh, but sir, India as a as a country has changed its approach approach in recent time, mm. and sir, recently sir, our foreign secretary Harsh Vardhan Singhala has visited Myanmar. Uh, uh, the approach of our nation is here is to engage with whoever is in power, and mm. have an amicable relation with this, them. Mm. And sir, regarding controlling insurgency across the border, sir, there has been activities take uh, uh, activities. Or steps taken by the Indian government, and it has been uh, supported by the Myanmar army as well. And then in recent times, sir, they have also uh, they have also hand over certain number of insurgents to the Indian government. Mm. So I think uh, the Indian government is working proactively with Myanmar to deal this insurgent issue across the border, sir. Then tell me how much China important for our economic growth. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, China is India's largest trading partner. Mm. Although we have almost a very heavy trade deficit with China, mm. uh, we have almost a hundred billion trade import with China and what uh, about thirty billion export with China. Mm. So we have a big trade deficit. But a large part of our industry, sir, depends on China for their raw materials. Uh, and the major major industry that. Uh, depends on China is the electronics market, sir. Mm-hmm. If we look at the electronics market, our mobile industry is totally dominated by Chinese player like Vivo, uh, Oppo. So these are the company that is having a big say in the uh, Indian market. And so there are also certain uh, manufacturing sectors that has uh, that has a um, competitive advantage with China. So mm-hmm. they keep on uh, they keep on sending the cheaper goods to India, sir. So, in order to work properly as an economy, sir, we need China's uh, uh, China's support, sir. But at the same time, sir, mm-hmm. it is required that we gradually reduce our dependency on China. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now come to your state uh, chief ministers, Mr. Lalu Yadav and Mr. Nitish Kumar. Whom do you find more suitable for your state? And compare these both. Okay, sir. Mm. Uh, sir, I think uh, Nitish Kumar is a relatively better option than Lalu Prasad Yadav, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm saying this on the basis of the infrastructure-related development that has happened during this period, and also the status of crime and how they have managed the state, sir. So in this, in the during the era of Lalu Prasad Yadav, sir, corruption was a rampant issue, and uh, caste politicism. Was a very big big thing in in, in Bihar, but sir, with coming of Nitish Kumar sir, things has gradually improved, and he has also worked on the infrastructure part. The road connectivity has been improved in the villages area, mm-hmm. and sir, the other issue that he has worked positively is on crime factors. Sir. Mm-hmm. During Lalu other periods, there used to be era of bahu balis and or uh, giant uh, giant sir, but in Nitish Kumar period sir, these things have gradually slowed down. Mm-hmm. And Bihar is getting stable when it comes to sir crime and other things, in with respect to the period of nineties. Okay, now compare these two laws. That is sedition law and UAPA. Okay, sir. The uh, uh, UAPA stands for Unlawful Activities of Prevention Act. Mm-hmm. And sir, this is an act that he, that prevents a person from committing any type of illegal activities, mm-hmm. and it prevents uh, an event uh, 
from going out of hand and uh, there has been uh, regarding the recent development related to uaps sir up state has maximum number of person arrested due, under the uap act mm. and after that it was manipur that uh, sorry north east that has uh, that has uh, so so the maximum number of arrest under the uap mm. and sir sedition law is something that is charged when sir it is it is uh, is thought that the person is trying to uh, sorry sir i could not recollect my thought Dis- related to this disrespect of someone like that yes sir the, the recent event has been happened with that of sir the mahatma gandhi incident that was there in sir chatisgarh mm-hmm. sir uh, mm-hmm. religious leaders have tried to insult the, the mahatma gandhi by ab- abusing and defending others so this is a law that prevents people from uh, crossing their limit or disrespecting the things that are of national importance yes yes national importance and also our institutions like president governor supreme court and many other institutions if someone says bad thing yeah bad words to these institutions or authority then it comes under sedition law so do you think that ki uh, recently many uh, media persons booked under this sedition law that was uh, i think that was an attack on freedom of speech give your yes, opinion okay sir hmm. sir i think that was an attack on the freedom of expression because the vibrant democracy india is that there must be space for a criticism and a democracy improves by having a constructive criticism hmm. uh and by the uh, there there has been a recent report by the by a ngo called reporters without borders which has downgraded india's democracy status to partially free sir mm. so i think there is need for constructive criticism that should be applauded mm. but yes sir, at the same time sir uh, the even the news reporters and the media persons should have a responsibility and accountability in their work but i think criticism must be in a limit that's why yes, the government is booking uh, media persons under this act is this law because they are crossing the limit in the case of mr anna goswami they are also charged by some uh, acts by some laws because he had deliver uh, de- uh, he has used some derogatory words for our country's very uh, respected or honorable uh, member of parliament what do you yes, want sir. to say on uh, uh, mr anand goswami case yes sir uh, i think sir criticism has a place but it has to be constructive sir mm-hmm. that can contribute for the betterment of the society and the nation sir and but tell me need to be tell me then what was the case related to mr anand goswami what he has done that he was arrested uh, sir his arrest was related to the fact that Uh, he has employed a person mm. and his company has failed to give him give him or her salary due to certain reasons mm. and as a result of this the person was very depressed and demoralized mm. and he has committed the act of suicide so this old case sir i think the case was 2 or 3 years old mm. that was reopened and he was uh, he was arrested under this particular case okay. i think the case is related to saying something derogatory words to mrs sonia gandhi and some other leaders opposition leaders uh, uh sir i this there was incidents of such things sir but mm. he was targeted he was arrested on this particular matter there were okay. people in the opposition that who were not liking this thing and the maharashtra vikar vikas akhada that is mm. the government uh, the part uh, the alliance in power in maharashtra sir Mm-hmm. they get offended with this and they mm-hmm. try to take a revenge sort of thing with another case uh, uh, by putting him on another case okay <clears throat> ab me ye bataye ki agami 1 saal mein ya fir agami 2022 mein bharat ke kon kon hisse 
आप देख पाते हैं वहां पर अशांति पैदा होने के चांसेस ज्यादा हैं एक आईबी ऑफिसर के तौर पर सोचें और प्रोडिक्शन करें ताकि वहां की सुरक्षा व्यवस्था बढ़ाई जा सके Uh, there has been an incident of the uh, drugs and smuggling and mm. related to uh, some pro khalistani movement as well so there is mm. scope of instability there sir very good and with election the chances is increasing mm. there another is jnk sir mm. uh, the army is taking a very stringent step to finish terrorism out there sir but mm. there can be a, there can be a, a re attack on the army with mm. the youth sir yeah mm. So I feel Jammu Kashmir is also vulnerable, sir, in the mm-hmm. upcoming years. And sir, northeast as it has been there uh, the recent events. Uh, north with northeast is uh, northeast it is still a land that needs to be very well managed in mm-hmm. terms of security, sir. Mm-hmm. And sir, other areas that I feel uh, that can be important is the related to our civil defence, sir, or we can say our society, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay. these are the areas we need to okay do you think that our uh, educational institution like jnu and amu are becoming the hub of anti national activities okay sir sir mm-hmm. i think uh, uh, the these are premier institutes in our country sir mm-hmm. and sir, these institute has contributed very nicely in the growth and development of the society but sir there has been certain events and certain student has been found doing an uh, improper thing so i think sir on the basis of certain events i don't feel it is a very uh, very uh, very normal to comment uh, a, a general statement related to this institute sir, there is need that students should be involved in what they are supposed to do they have the right to protest under the constitution and they should be doing it in under their uh, con- rights they shouldn't be breaking laws and they shouldn't be doing all this mm. okay yes. okay fine now tell me that two regions that will be responsible for not selecting you in intelligence bureau mm. sir i think i have worked hard uh, so uh, i it possesses the desired quality to be selected in ib but sir i feel if Uh, i i will be uh, if i fail to get into ip i would look into the areas where i i fail to uh, perform well and would look to improve on it i cannot recall any specific sir okay thank you mr and uh, all the best for your future i am disconnecting the call okay thank you sir it was a great learning experience thank okay. you welcome welcome